Hey guys, I know it's been a while, but I wanted to update you guys on a few things. So, the video you're going to see today is about the warehouse. So, we did end up getting a warehouse. Now, we have not moved in or anything. Um, but this video was about a month ago. And when I tell you, I had planned on editing it. But unfortunately, Roman ended up with RSV, pneumonia, and a double E infection. So, three weeks, it was just straight Roman mode. So, that's why there's been zero... <laughs> content like nothing i've just been trying to get orders done and then take care of roman so that's pretty much all that's been going on but i did want to tell you guys that so we did get a warehouse it worked out perfectly um we were supposed to be moving in in my opinion like today but it'll be a few more weeks um you'll see in this video where i show you the space and i had to measure everything out because i wanted to make sure like what was going to go where and i wanted you know to figure that out i still I haven't figured it out totally, so um, I still have to, like, measure bins here and what bins I'll put in this room and hoodies and such. Um, but I literally have not had any time to really to think about the warehouse just because Roman has been sick. This is his week where he's finally been back to normal. So he has been going to school this week. Yesterday was Halloween, and unfortunately it was cold and pouring rain here, so... They did not go trick-or-treating yesterday. Um, we ended up going to Target, getting some candy, and they just answered the door if trick-or-treaters came, which it seemed like they like probably would have liked that more than trick-or-treating because they were so excited every time somebody rang the doorbell. We had like the creepy doorbell sound on, so they liked it. They had so much fun, but now they are off to school, and I need to get to work, but before I did that, I was like, let me just get a video done. I started editing this video right when Roman started getting sick, um, but it just wasn't working. Um, also audio in this video isn't the best because I guess the warehouse echo, um, about this warehouse, how we came upon this warehouse. This warehouse was originally not on the market. Um, the lady I was working with, um, I've been working with her for a long time, like three years. Cause I was considering getting a warehouse for the last three years and never did it. And, um, they had no warehouses. And then she was like, listen, management just changed their mind. They were going to use, they were saving the space for something else, but they canceled those plans. Do you want it before I put it out? I was like, let me go see it. So it's a warehouse, but it's more so completely office. Like it's completely hundred percent office. There is a loading dock. There's technically three loading docks for this warehouse, but they have two of them, uh, dry walled up. And that area will be my embroidery room. Um, so there's going to be like an embroidery section which you guys will see embroidery and sublimation. I'm going to see if I can fit the sublimation into one of the rooms that is in the embroidery section. I don't, I don't know. I still, like, I've measured it, but I have not had the chance to put it all together. Um, so, yeah, I also did update some stock on AJ Blanks. Um, trying to get stuff, like, moving so that when we move, it's not as much. We're still waiting on a moving quote, which is ridiculous. It's been, like, three weeks. We've, had, we've gotten two quotes, but there's one person that we like in particular um that he, they have like a library system so they would move everything like a library so they come in and label each and every item and then they put it in the same exact order there and you would think everybody would do that but no they don't they do not so i've been waiting for this man's quote he's come to the house twice just to double check and get everything um so i'm still waiting to see what he says i hope it's not anything crazy i'm willing to pay like a thousand dollars more than like a normal mover um just because it'll be done correctly um so yeah also we are hiring a part-time employee for aj blank slash kcd um and i could put a, a link to the job description or you could always just email us it's in the pg county area um just wanted to mention that you would be like packing orders embroidery i would like you to know how to embroider but i can always train um so just mention that but yeah um let me go ahead and put the footage in so you guys can see it. Um, it's scrambled. And like I said, the audio isn't the best because of the echoes. And I was using my phone. As you can see, this camera has been here for like four months. I have not touched this camera. It is dead. So like I literally, YouTube has been like the last thing on my mind. Obviously, you guys I haven't posted any videos. So that's going to change today. You'll have a video whenever this video goes up. Um, and then the next video would more than likely be like moving into the warehouse. Or um, if I get a chance to do any packing to show you guys that part but yes let me just edit this video nice to see you guys hope you guys have been having a nice like two-ish three-ish months um and i hope all is well
What are you doing? You're like a five-year-old. Or oh, something jumped out of there. Oh, you want to do dishes like you never do at home? It's a nice dishwasher. You need to get a refrigerator, a table. He wants a TV too. Boy, why are you doing an inspection like this is your own house? No leaks. <laughs> oh, you're a plumber now. So we've been trying to figure out which room to put the kids in. I need one of these to be for children. And leaning not towards these. No, maybe this. We don't know though. And then this carpet is staying. When I change this carpet, all the walls are getting repainted. Um, but for AJ Blank bins, we're trying to figure out, do we go all the way down like we have now? Obviously, we have to leave like three feet here and then like not start bins still here so that there's like entrance to all of this. But then where does the packing go? We probably have UPS pick up from here, but then there's also like a bay door, but they probably wouldn't pick up from there because that bay door is high. It's like a loading dock. Um, also, these will be for our 10 million pounds of tape that we get delivered. We have like a subscription for tape and we just have way too much tape. Um, they are probably like three or four of those things full of tape and then the mailers and all that stuff maybe can go on here. I'm not sure. I've been sitting and measuring each room so I can figure out what can go in what, but I'm not sure where is this guy. And then we're thinking back here would probably be like our back stock. So like what's in our garage can probably maybe hopefully fit in these two rooms. Oh, I'm looking at Mr. Security. He's in the security office. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then maybe like it's just I'm just trying to figure it out because over there there's like partitions behind that wall and storage can go there too but I don't want all the storage all over the place rather all the storage in one spot this is the only room that's getting completely redone because this is going to be the embroidery room I couldn't get rid of these because otherwise we needed a permit and that's like four months just to wait for that so we just gonna have these nice little cubicles. <laughs> I would probably just put like one rack here, one rack here, one rack here of just hoodies, honestly, and both of these, I don't know. And then there's these two rooms, which I would probably just either use for hoodie back stock, hoodies in general, um, I really don't know. This could probably be for the sublimation table site. No, it can't because I see there's not even one outlet over here. So maybe I'll put the sublimation table in here. So that way I can hide the fish smell of the sublimation table. And just have this for like the sublimation heat press. All in one. Maybe. Because there really is only one plug, which I didn't notice until today when I was measuring. There's that. But that obviously needs to be fix but like embroidery machine wise all the machines are supposed to go along here we want to get two more machines so i really don't know i don't know last that i'm measuring everything i have a clipboard with all my measurements on it um sorry i am holding the phone so it's going to be shaky all these bathrooms where is my measurements So I've literally been measuring everything so that I can go home and figure out what can fit where and where what makes sense at, if that even makes any sense. So, got all my measurements. No, I'm talking about a real conversation, not a fake conversation, you sim. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I was saying though, I, if we're putting storage there, it doesn't make sense because storage would be there and all the way back there. So like if we move the storage, all the storage needs to be in one spot. I agree. Are you really just saying that? Like, all the storage has to be in one spot. <laughs> you can't have storage over there and storage over here unless you unless you need to. Unless you get to a point to where you have no option. But preferably everything should be in one area. So all the storage needs to go back here, but it will even fit in these three rooms. Like that's the storage room. Yeah, you should put it here too. Yeah, you should put it here. And you know what? Even if 
Because I want to admit, it's too tall. A sugar rack is taller than this. Sure. Yeah, the shipping rack goes way tall. The shipping rack, yeah, exactly. Well, I guess it's like... Yeah, the shipping rack would go to like right here. It should here. be something like, I don't know. Something, exactly. Miscellaneous. I don't... Miscellaneous, just, just a thing. <laughs> Anybody have any ideas? Leave them down in the comments. What the heck do we do with this? Um, but then, now what does that turn into then? If it's not going to be back stock? I don't know. I mean, like I said, it's... This one had to be a mix of both. I want it all in one area, but but if we start bringing it in, because here's here's my other thing: when you're bringing it in, more than likely, I mean, we could use this door, but honestly, if we're not having movers bringing it in, it's coming in through the side door. Yeah, right now movers are bringing it, probably gonna look right up to the loading dock mm -hmm. and bring everything so in. So it wouldn't be a big deal for them to just drop it here, but. For, for us, if it is me and Tyler or whoever, then it's going to be a, a challenge bringing it from over here. You know what I mean? So um, maybe maybe this can just be all hoodies. <laughs> I'm just trying to make everything <laughs> hoodies. I just want the hoodies nice and open. That way I see what's on each shelf, each yeah, side. Nice and open for two weeks. Shut the heck up. Because <laughs> right now, it would be easier for us if I'm bringing it in back stop storage unit because it's so close anyway the front door yeah and then i can just disperse it from there it's not gonna be yeah the storage unit massive stuff massive task it's like it's once you get it in it's pretty much where it needs to be anyway whereas if i you know the other way i gotta bring it from over there all the way over here so yeah i don't know i don't know either so i'm both sitting here looking at each other and then also what about expanding storage because if you over there, it's gonna be pretty limited. Because mm -hmm. there's only so much you could go to. But in here, theoretically, you could always go into the other one. Well, this was the original storage yeah. I get. This was supposed to be the original storage here, here in this room. But now this room is gonna be for when we have deliveries. They sit there if we need them to. And then this was supposed to be storage. But I want to maximize all the space. So maybe we just kind of have to measure everything. That scared me. It was like an earthquake. And yeah, see. New shipment. New shipment stuff stays here. Whenever we get a new shipment, that. And old shipment stuff is over, over there. I guess. Like, we can have everything labeled, like each. It's just confusing when it's not all in one spot. But. Yeah, I want to get it all in one spot. Yeah. yeah. It's parked over there. See? Thought it was just for us. We got somebody. In our parking spots. We're also getting all new lights too. All new lights, all new paint. And the only room I don't know what to do now. Now I'm all discombobulated. Cause then if we're in here. I don't know. This just made more sense for the embroidery room because it was all by itself. Um It's just the biggest downfall is there's only one outlet. We can't run all the machines off one outlet, so it wouldn't work. Right now, we run them off three or two outlets. So worst case, this this would have to be fixed. So we'd have to ask them if this is going to turn into an outlet or not. Because that'll, that'll trip a, a thing. So well, that right there looks like an electrical thing that was covered over. So maybe they could just uncover it and make an outlet. This question is Okay, well, I'll ask them. All right, guys, so I hope you liked our warehouse. That is what it looks like. Um, so move-in date is about three weeks from now, but they told us last week that they were 80% done with all the lights. The lights were not something that we were originally planning on doing, but they told us because they're out outdated, they wanted to update them to all LED lights, which I'm not paying for that, so that's fine. Um, they did agree to a three-year lease because... I didn't want to break down anything. So that was one of the other reasons I chose this place because I, you know, I told you guys already, I wanted a short, the shortest lease term possible. And three is normally the shortest you can possibly get in a commercial space. Um, it's normally five years. Um, so because I did nothing, they were like, that's cool. I got new paint and new carpet in the embroidery room. I did also, um, last minute, I chose which room I wanted for the children. 
and I'm changing the carpet in that room as well. So that's what took an extra week because you had to order carpet for that specific room. So then they're going to re-carpet that room because I don't want the kids, you know, they're, they're, they're on the floor rolling around. Whether you like it or not, that's what they're going to do. So I'm like, they need new carpet in that room. And they're not going to be in there all the time because obviously they go to school and they're Romans and uh, a new daycare. I don't know if I've updated you guys on that. He's been going to a new daycare and he loves it, luckily, and he's having fun thriving there. Um, but when we were first getting this place, Roman was not anywhere. He was still, still pretty much home. So, <sighs> super excited to move in. Um, let me know your guys' suggestions, um, on what, what to put where. What do you guys think? I only, I only know for sure the embroidery section is going to be in that room that I told you. Embroidery and sublimation, the DTG may go in that room. I'm not 100% sure. It's like with DTG, you need space. At least I believe you need space. And that's my only downfall. It's like it's harder to make a decision when you're not there and don't have the piece of equipment right in front of you. But the DTG, I can move too much. The DTG is so heavy that once it's moved, you you cannot move it. You need three people, three people to move it. So I need to make a decision on where that is going to go ASAP. And then there was a room next to the kitchen, which I'm thinking is where I'm going to put all the hoodies and all my T-shirts, like all my DTG stuff, like all my adult blanks um, will go in that room. Um, and not AJ blanks. I don't have adult AJ blanks, maybe in the future. But yeah. But yeah. Um, in regards to other restocks for AJ blanks, we'll have the long sleeve ruffles at the end of November. And then we will be adding a new girl's puff short sleeve color at the end of November as well. So stay tuned for that um hope you guys enjoyed the video um so yeah thanks so much for watching guys and i'll see you guys in the next one bye